Welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you step by step how to value a stock. We will enter the company's financial information and capital structure into my Excel model. Then we determine whether the stock is a buy or a sell. At the end, we calculate and analyze the financial ratios. I'm going to do this with you throughout the entire video, so it's like we're doing it together. I answer every single comment, so feel free to ask a question or let me know your thoughts. The company we're going to look at is Gray Television. And this company owns and operates 145 TV stations. Let's get started with the model. This company has a market cap of $1.47 billion. So that's the value of the company according to the stock market. And let's get the stock price. They're trading at $15.32, so that's one share of stock. And the way you value a company is you estimate the future free cash flows and then discount that back to today's dollars. That's exactly what we're doing in this video. Now I'm going to pull their actual free cash flows. And the way you calculate free cash flow, it's cash flow from operations minus capital expenditures. We also need their net income. That's on the income statement. That's the profit and loss for the business. And then we're going to pull the revenue, which are the sales for each year. And it looks like their sales have been increasing quite a bit. Amazing increase. Wow. 800 million to 2.1 billion. That's pretty impressive. And they have positive free cash flow and positive net income every year. So we should get a good value for this company. Let's look at the capital structure. They pay 227 million of interest on their debt. Let's go to the balance sheet to see how much debt they have. We'll go to the liability section. Long-term debt of $3.7 billion. That's debt due after 12 months. Interest payments on debt is tax deductible, so let's get their effective tax rate. Income before tax of $255 million. Income tax is $76 million. So the effective tax rate is 30%. So the cost of debt is 4.3%. To get the cost of equity, we need the beta. The beta is how volatile the stock is relative to the market. And they have a beta of 2.04, so the stock is pretty volatile. It moves twice as much as the market. Let's go back to the balance sheet, get their current assets. We need to calculate the current ratio later. $672 million. Now let's see what that's made up of. Cash, $212 million. Net receivables, $411 million. Let's get their current liabilities. That's 246 million. And that's 11 million of payables, 13 million of taxes payable, 99 million accrued liabilities, and 9 million of deferred revenues. <clears throat> Stockholders' equity is the value of the company according to the balance sheet. That's 2.1 billion. That's total assets minus total liabilities. That's 1.8 billion of common stock. 500 million of retained earnings and negative 31 million of accumulated other comprehensive income. Let's go back to the income statement, get their operating income. That's 424 million. Now let's look at the capital structure. The cost of debt is 4.3%. The weight of debt is 64%. Cost of equity is 18%. Weight of equity is 36%. So the WAC is 9.3%, which is a blend of the cost of debt and cost of equity. And that's the discount rate we're gonna to apply to the future cash flows. We estimated four years of future free cash flows, that's here in blue. We also estimated terminal value, which is all cash flows past year four, that's four billion dollars. Then we had to discount these numbers back to today using the weighted average cost of capital, that's here in green. We get a value of the company of $4.8 billion. If you divide that by 96 million shares, we get an intrinsic stock price of $50. They're trading at $15, so they're trading at a 69% discount. So it's definitely a buy according to the model. Simply Wall Street has them valued at $28. They're also saying a buy, just not as much as I am. Let's see where the stock has been trading at. Looks like it peaked around 25 a year or so ago, but it's come down quite a bit at coronavirus, so it seems like it's a good value. Let's look at the financial ratios. Great PE, great price to sales, and great price to book. PE is stock price over earnings per share. To calculate earnings per share, that's net income over shares outstanding. I like to see below 15, they're at 8.2, so investors are paying about $8 for $1 of earnings. Price of sales is stock price over sales per share. To calculate sales per share, that's revenue over shares outstanding. I like to see below 2.5, they're at 0.7, so 
So investors are paying 70 cents for $1 of revenue. Price to book is stock price over book value per share. To calculate book value per share, that's equity of a share is outstanding. I like to see below 3.5, they're at 0.7. So investors are paying 70 cents for $1 book value. A book value of 22 indicates that if the company went bankrupt today, it would be able to give each shareholder $22, even though each share is trading at 15. The current ratio is good, interest coverage ratio is a little low, and ROE is low. Current ratio is current assets over current liabilities, so they can easily cover their current debts and payables. ROE is net income over equity, that's 8%. I like to see above 20%. Interest coverage ratio is EBIT over interest expense, that's 1.9. I like to see over 2, so that's not too bad. The best way to look at ratios is to compare them to similar companies. I've done videos on Cumulus and Buzz Time, and Gray is here in the middle. And if Gray has a number in red, they're worse than the average. If they're in green, they're better than the average. So they're worse than the average in PE and price of sales, but they are better than the average in price to book. They have the highest current ratio. All the companies are pretty weak in ROE. In terms of debt, Gray and Cumulus are a little leveraged at over 60%. But in terms of market cap, Gray is the largest by far. It's 1.5 billion and both of the other companies are under $100 million. And when you invest in a larger company, it tends to be safer, more secure. Make sure to leave a comment. I always answer the comments, no matter what it is. Thanks for watching.